Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Hope you all are having a very blessed Sunday. It's cold here and snowing, and the temperature's dropping more and more. So before I get started, uh, I want to show you some more steals and deals I got. Um, first of all, the practical. I got a, a finger pulse oximeter with my health. It's good to monitor everything. Plus, they normally throw those on me whenever I go to the doctors anyway. So, figure at least I'll know what that is. And I got this cool little pyramid. It's got like a planet or a moon inside with, uh, I guess it's supposed to be the moon and a galaxy or something underneath or I don't know. It's just so cool looking. It'll get a spot up here when I clean that off. And I got this neat looking journal. There you have it. Plus, I, I get stuff for other people, too. It's just not all for myself. And it's just not all. It's a lot of practical stuff, too. Not all just splurging and having fun. Anyway. It's the middle of the month, and I've got to conserve my... Dream yard minutes here, so I better get better get the shuffling. And after this, I'm going to show you an update on the bulbs I planted back in uh, November, and I've been forcing them in the refrigerator. I brought out some more the hyacinths and had one bloom on me and didn't even realize it. It happened so fast. So here we go. Okay, your card of the day is justice. Okay, an alternative name for this is adjustment. It's number 11 is the numerical equivalent. It's the high priestess. Uh, astrological sign is Libra, the scales. The element is air. Hebrew letter Lamed, the symbol is the whip, meaning fairness. It's on the Tree of Life pathway, the 12th, between Tifereth and Gebura. The chakra is Earth Star for spiritual grounding, key meaning balance, perception, and objectivity. Justice, as I said, takes the sign of Libra, the scales, which begins at the autumn equinox when the hours of daylight and darkness are equal, reflected in Libra's symbol, the scales. Justice's element, air, also reminds us of the scales, which hangs in midair. Okay, and now to whatever your problem is, there will be a positive outcome. This is a time when past errors or imbalances can be redressed. You benefit from a fair system, provided you are accountable, honest, and deserving. Equally, you may be the judge in your own life, using your perspective and integrity to make good decisions that will safeguard your future. 
You may take a moral stand on an issue that affects you and those around you. In legal matters, a decision is made or a ruling is given, which goes in your favor. Justice will be done and order restored. On a spiritual level, justice shows the working out of karma or actions and consequences. Justice shows a logical, considered influence. It is a welcome arrival in your reading as if life has felt chaotic. It is a card of empowerment, advising you to take a left brain approach to take control. Influential people favor you now and your projects get support. Listen to advice from people around you whom you respect. Justice can also indicate the following. In home, it can present, it can represent a legal issue concerning property um, or contracts signed and you can now make progress. In relationships, while balance and practical issues are important now, take care that your emotional needs are met. Find the right balance between work and relationships. And as for career and money, at work you may be tested, but the final outcome is positive. Job interviews and negotiations are successful. Financially, you are coming to the end of a frugal period. Money matters are set to improve. Wow, we can all use that. And as you see in the picture, there's a figure of a veiled woman carrying a sword and scales emerging from a tree. She is justice, which was always administered under a tree in the Celtic religion, um, because nothing is more just than the law of nature. All right. And let's throw one on top of that to see if there's anything else that might go with this reading. Okay. This card is details, details. The most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. This is a time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. Worth, look for the details and leave the broad strokes for another time. When this card appears in a reading, it's time to finesse a project. Make a small but meaningful gesture or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware that what you need to know lies in the detail. If you're entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. Uh, that might be referring to that contract someone might be signing or some of that stuff. Um, clarity and transparency are key. You can gain great understanding by observing the minute body language, offhand remarks, and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. All right. So I hope that made sense to some of you all. It sounded like a pretty good reading to me. I hope it is for you all, too. So, as I said before, now um, here's some of that footage um, from the bulb updates. Enjoy. Well, here's an update on the flowers, the bulbs. These are hyacinths that I've been cooling in the refrigerator since uh, November 19th to kind of force them to bloom early and you wait till they get about two inches of growth on top which these have then you set them in a sunny window and they should bloom within four weeks this is uh, February the 11th so beginning of March or so hopefully these will be blooming Keep you updated. Now here's one Albert planted. Well, I planted and Albert set out early. 
but we forgot to water it. And look how low the roots went before we figured that out. The heavy ones come all the way down to here, so it, the water was really low, and it just didn't do all that good. And it's done now. But, uh, well, there might be more coming on that. Yeah, there's more coming. Cool. Let's keep this in a window. I'll keep you updated. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. So thank you for joining me today. Hope you have a wonderful, blessed Sunday. Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And until tomorrow, bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.